All right, all right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Arsenal FIFA 21 Realistic Career Mode series. So we're coming off a episode we didn't do the best. Man City celebrate the UEFA Super Cup win. They got the better of us in that game. Manchester City, superior team. Uh, they're a very good team. Aguero, yeah, you can see Pep celebrating. But also before that, we got that 2-0 against Leeds. So, yeah, on paper, that yeah doesn't look like a good result. Uh, Chapman loaned out now. That's all confirmed. He was one of our uh, yeah, scouted players, youth scouted players. And Wolves have started all right. That would be a win, wouldn't it? If they would be in fifth, they would have won their first game, uh, which they did so. So I was actually more just disappointed. I couldn't, like, the CPU really controlled me in that last in that last episode and yeah really now I'm, I'm trying to go hard with this Arsenal career like I'm happy with the transfers we won the Europa League last season so I feel like we're building towards some form of success but we're on the day of the match uh, we will have to make some changes so that is Saliba yep too tired you're not going to go in like that. And even Schurz, Holding's going to come in here. So now it's we might need to rotate some of these guys and their fitness is not absolutely the best. But hey, this is where he'll get it. Uh, Party, arguably, yeah, I bet like he helps. He helps so much in midfield. Being without him is going to be a little tricky. Uh, we'll, oh, Jack is not even 100%. I mean, we'll give Torreira a chance. Negative four, which is definitely a tough one. You have to play him central midfield, so he's going to be on that. And then Tierney's going to be missing out. That's why he got Justin. So we'll probably make a change defensively. Maitland-Niles, I reckon he can make the bench. Lacazette, Martinelli. I wonder... Mm, or Bemiang. I want to start Lacazette because we haven't yet. And his sharpness is going to be dropping if we don't. And yeah, with, with the training and stuff, Lacazette is five-star skill moves. He de definitely doesn't start with five-star skill moves, but that's not bad. And then just one more. Smith Rowe is going to start ahead of Odegaard. And with that kind of fitness, like you can't even use him off the bench. We won't need a sub, though. Like We don't need to replace him. I'd If we're leading, I'd bring on Enketia. I'll bring on Enketi instead for striker, for Lacazette. Maybe rest him or Saka on that side. Yeah, we'll see. So it doesn't matter. We got yeah a lot of attackers on the bench. We don't really need uh, center mids. Yeah, those players that are 100% fit, uh, we're all good. So yeah, I definitely, yeah, I definitely want to be recovering from that last one. <laughs> There's nothing that's changed at all. They're playing a five of the back formation. It's all about my own personal approach. So let's get into it. Say, oh my, he could have kept going. Oh my God, no. Oh, I woke up so positive, man. I woke up really excited to do, like, <laughs> it's like, I want you guys to know my mindset before what you're seeing. And like, I, ah, oh man. But it's like, what happened for that to be the result? Like he was just speed. And then he, oh, he was just stronger. I feel like I had limited battle to do there, mate. Like, him and Ed, he was just stronger than our defender and that was game over. Wow. Have we conceded already? Ah, oh, I'm trying my absolute best. I swear. Man, like, ah, oh, my mindset. I just wish you knew. I was so confident. And then I get into a match, and that's where it starts to go down. Yeah, it just always goes down. Paul Dance. Like, how is he getting so far away initially? Like, how is that happening initially? I know, like, a lot of younger people watch FIFA and that, but, like, and we say, oh, goal equals bad. Like, <laughs> like, ah. Uh, like, initially, he reads this... Yeah, he did this, so I wasn't... See how I moved over? Control I'm controlling Aaron's there. So the defense, he just was not tracking him as... And then, then it was done, because he had that much of a gap. Like, how can your... How can your other defenders defend well when you're not controlling them? Like, that's not a thing. Like... 
but that's my bad defending when it wasn't my control. Far out. Who knows? Yeah, I'm incredibly annoyed. Even though I sometimes say like, I'm not annoyed, I'm I'm more confused and stuff like that. But it is because I want to be doing well, man. Like I don't know. I don't know. Like we got good players on the pitch, and Lacazette. Hmm. Go. Oh, that was decent play. <laughs> and then Lacazette, he goes and scores. I magically was able to do that in the second half. Bang. Smash it in again, why don't we? Like, we'll take the goal. We'll take the goal. See, getting past like that, I, was, I couldn't do that in the first half. Not the same way, but hey, we did right there and he gets his first. That's why I was feeling a bit unsure about Lacazette. I mean... He's 85 overall, and he's got that plus two. So 87 overall striker, mate. You got to feel like that. And he showed that there, though. That was never. Yeah, we need that was offside as well. So that was good defending, <laughs> to a certain extent. I want to put Saka left. Oh, he's I'm there. He's negative. Ah, oh, okay. Left wing back. Oh, then he's only negative one. But how can you be a negative at all when that's actually in your positions? I'm calling out FIFA. No, this is left wing back. Why is that left mid to left back negative? That's left wing back right there. Calling out, calling out, I'll tell you what. Um, and Aubameyang, yeah, Aubameyang is what we were going to do or who we were going to bring on for Justin over on the... So that's my... You can disagree or agree. He shouldn't have a negative and a warning sign when left back or left wing back, yep, what we are selecting him in, is legit in his positions. <laughs> like, that's it. <laughs> like, leave it that. Leave it at that. Oh, Maduk, actually, La oh, Lacazette played his part, but for a striker that's not overly pacey, he's going to be... Yeah, I'm going to bring on Maduke for the pace. <laughs> oh, pace abuse. <laughs> Put him on the left side. And that's amazing, yeah? I oh, am I wrong? Am I just not getting 2021 FIFA and from the gameplay and just all these other things? Because normally when I mention this, someone will say, oh, you got to train them in that position. So he's literally got a striker in his position, no left wing, but he's got left. That's negative one and that's negative six, right? I'm seeing that correctly. I'm not going crazy, am I? But okay, I'm playing him in a position. He doesn't have the warning sign, the exclamation mark, and just negative one in a position he does not have at all. Like, what do you guys say to that? Like, yeah, I just want to know your opinions and what's actually happening. I feel like someone who's new to FIFA and I've been playing it since I was eight years old. Like, FIFA these days is something else. Maybe talk about it a little bit later, but yeah, let's hopefully get a result from this. I think I'll, yeah, mention after the game, after whatever happens here, no matter the results. It's almost... Okay, Torreira. Oh, that could have worked, but it didn't. I mean, no. No, look how... Okay, he jo he's not sp I'm holding sprint and he's not sprinting. He's jogging. you got to look like you're trying, even though if you're a bit more tired. But our defence was 100% getting into the game. You can see how I can easily be confused with things. Just because... Oh, and they probably could have got a goal there. Like, again, another opinion by me. If a player is not fast, it doesn't mean he shouldn't be allowed to sprint. It sh he shouldn't be jogging. And that's what it looks like in the gameplay. <laughs> I'm giving good uh, I'm giving good counter arguments to why they're winning the game and that's never going to go down well. <laughs> it's always going to be me playing bad but <laughs> regardless of how accurate it is. Come yeah. All right, if we can manage to get an equalizer, I think that's not bad. It's in a way oh my god. No, not like that. Not like that. I just I wonder so there's Maduke. Oh, Bemi. Oh, no. Come on. 
Saka. Yeah, I, I did pass to Gabriel there, so I'm happy it went to him. Kamavinga. See what I mean? How is that? I aimed at him and it didn't go to him. Can you understand? Far out. Hey, can you just aim at a player and it goes to the opposition? Can you understand my frustration? Like, seriously, this game. But it's just you. You're just bad at it. You're, you're not supposed to aim at the player you want to pass to once again. That's why the pass wasn't made. You're supposed to aim it at someone you don't want to pass to. That's the logic. Okay, run. Now, go, go. But where's that run beyond the opponent? All right. Oh, that was neat. That was neat. No, needs an option. Smith Rowe, turn him. <laughs> That's not a foul, but like... <laughs> like he impeded me somehow. So we do have fresh legs. I know, I'm going to bring on Martinelli for Smith Rowe. I know, negative one. We don't have a threat. We don't have someone there. Oh, yeah, well, what we'll do... What we... They're going to make us change formation. <laughs> like, okay. Maduka, I want Martinelli. Uh, can we just put him striker? It's still negative two. Left striker, that's not going to make a difference. He's got striker in his positions. Can cover the same subject all the time. I guess because Pepe is five-star weak foot, maybe chuck him on that side. Once more, he's got no left wing and he's still plus five. Like, seriously. That just looks weird. If you're trying to learn FIFA from so from that point of view, if you were new, you, that would be confusing. That's it at the end of the day. Or Bemiang. Maduke on to his left. Now pass it. Go. Go! Yes, bro! Kamavinga! Oh, mate. I was... I was about to prepare... For a loss, Kamavinga, let's go. Kamavinga, our new star. That's going to take us. Take us to the new levels. That's it. Seriously, Kamavinga hit on his left. That's it. That's it, into the heart of the wolves. Kamavinga. See, look at look at Aubameyang getting around him. Pepe, who's, who are stars of the team. He is. He's the one. Let's go. And even, hey, it's 85th minute. Mates. Like, I felt we could have won this game. And we shouldn't be saying that until it's over. You shouldn't be giving, oh, Kamavinga, how good is he? And yep, that's another. Like, that's incredible. I aimed to the right and it went straight. Like, oh. Mates, go. Oh, no way. Pepe down this side. Oh, does he do it? See, that's where. Oh, no, no, I passed. Far out, far. Oh, that was accident. Like, oh, I just... Shit. Far out, man. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't, I shouldn't make it a loss. Oh, no way. This is my fault. No, save it. Save it at least. Ah. That was on me. Was maybe a little bit of, not nervous, but just like, yeah, like that was the last chance. Ooh, I, there was a chance. Uh, can, you can't replay that. There's not going to be a last minute. Yeah, I know that was an excellent opportunity. We could have won it. I panicked late. And that's it. I say I panicked. My, my finger hovered over the A button and it passed. So, you know. <laughs> But I'm very happy. I'm very happy we got a draw from it. And that first go these early goals are killing me though. I I'm going to take a draw. I'll t we got we had two shots on target for two goals. Like that wasn't a good enough result. But I feel like we dug ourselves out of it. Like Kamavinga with an eight point six, it was real good. But we need to be getting wins. That's for sure. It was still a hell of frustrating game. I can't lie. So that's why I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked I didn't lose that, basically. There's something I'm going to look at here. Yep, Bola, Kamavinga, legend. Legend might be a little, 
extreme, but he's on that path. Bowler is sold. Maitland-Niles, Trenton, no. Man United really be coming for our players. And he's one that will block offers on. Got a decent future. So, yeah, see, guys, I love our squad. That's the thing. I like the squad we've got. So we're going to see what we can do here. I recently, yeah, I want the full backs, left back, and I want it, yeah, to be in that line. I'm See, this is me trying to react to that first goal that happened, yeah? And I'm wondering if this is it. I don't know. Probably not. Party. Can he drop a little deeper? Can't even put him in a... Okay, well, drop the center backs. There we go. Try and make sure they're in the same line. Party. Okay. How far does he have to drop for center back? Uh, center defensive mid. Yeah, so there we go. And maybe move Odegaard. Hey, maybe just experimenting like this a little bit. Or oh, man, put it slightly to the left. That's a bit out of the, like, normal, you can say. But, hey, <laughs> that's all from just dropping a party just a little bit deeper. So, probably now train him for center defensive mid, even though he, like, he, he play well there. Like, he's physically good. I just... So, this is where you react and make your choices. Saka, let's take a look. Five-star skill moves, excellent. But I feel like... What's he got? He's, fin he's not a goal scorer. Like, he can create, surely. But I think, regardless, as an... I think he could be a super sub. That's what I'm reading early. And actually... Yeah, then we start Lacazette. I'm just reading in what I can... You know, making reactions to... What I see from the gameplay. And how I can improve us. And that's what we're... <laughs> what we're going to try and do, anyway. So, Party, who I th he should... I reckon he should have a center defensive mid in one of his positions. But we're going to train him for that anyway. CDM. That improves his defending stats as well. But, see, he's got high defensive work rate. That's going to help. You know, he's got some decent, like, shot power and all that. See how he plays. Because I feel like we don't have problem... Well, for the most part, <laughs> yeah, we can score goals. <laughs> Man United, well, they've got a game in hand, so... Yeah, the thing is, it's early in the season. Let's yeah try and get a few more dubs. Or try and get a dub. You're like, mate, you haven't got one yet. So here with the training, I just want to go into it for a second. Yeah, okay, I'm happy with that. For an absolute example, this is just an example. If I were click to change players early in the preseason, you see what I mean? Those guys that are there now, they weren't here. Those, yeah, save like Maduke, uh, Surjan, all those like lower rated players. It was just like, oh, there was Aaron's Camavinga. So I couldn't train them, just so you guys understand. But it looks like now, uh, yeah, they're getting in automatically and I just be simulating. Uh, I did the sessions myself, got A's and B's. So yeah, now that's pretty good progression. Let's go. Like, yeah, guys, I was going to say just uh, shortly, because I mentioned it during the game. I come from a background of playing FIFA, coming home every single day in high school, and I'd get on my computer and play FIFA. Uh, yeah, like FIFA 06. Like I'm 30 years old. I'm, I'm a bit. I'm a little bit older. I'm getting. I'm getting to that stage in my life now. But yeah, like that's part of me. Like FIFA. Like it's part of my routine. I I play some FIFA. Like that's me. Regardless of what a FIFA game is like, what a FIFA year is like, that doesn't mean I'm like bad at it or I'm or I shouldn't be doing FIFA or like all these different reasons it's just I want you guys to know my perspective like put it in your mind I'm someone who would come home from school and play FIFA every single day so it doesn't matter like if there was an episode I didn't do well in doesn't mean suddenly I should stop doing FIFA videos or yeah I hope you understand my perspective and what FIFA has been in my life <laughs> why am I getting this deep about FIFA though <laughs> but it's still, it's still a fact. Let me know if you're the same. You come home and play FIFA, even though you probably, yeah, you complain about it sometimes. So even when I get frustrated by it, why I still will come back and make a video on it the following day. You know what I mean? That just gives you a little perspective from my point of view. Medley, yeah, this is good. 
Ah, oh, there's so many. Well, actually, he's 63. Yeah, he's probably not in the future. Like, can't you? Yo, we'll delegate. Yeah, with, uh, yeah, we'll just leave that. See what they think. Player chat. Saka. You haven't, though, mate. Like, yeah, that's an issue with Saka. I actually really like that front three now. So what we're going to do, we'll just do that so we don't have to go as far down or it was probably going to be close to equal. We talked about his finishing, like left winger position. That's why I'm working. Look, yeah, he's going to need to keep going. Keep going, mate. But how do you guys see that as an opinion? He's shooting, like finishing and shot power. That's not the quality we want from a winger. And just, guys, just so you know, we do go through these press conferences all the, all the time and say like the positive ones. So this is another thing. Like if you're maybe watching someone do career modes like on next gen and stuff like that, there's no mods on next gen. This, the mod I'm using makes it harder to get like happy morale. It's barely ever. Cause you know that boosts the player's attributes and that makes it easier for yourself. So yeah, that's partially it as well. That's making it a bit more tricky. So yeah, be a little bit open-minded. That, that's something that I don't have on my side, I guess, to make my players better. If you're just repeatingly praising them. Say if someone is doing a PS5 career mode. <laughs> but now there is a huge game Arsenal Tottenham, you don't, like, whatever's happened in this episode right now, like, you need to win this game. Definitely not lose it. They've got a strong selection there. <laughs> like, yeah, not going to be, not going to be an easy one. We'll just take a look at our team management. In terms of players on the subs, which I'm, I'm happy with now. We thought we rotated. This is our strongest team, so we're not going to mess around with it, honestly. No complaints, but at the same time, Tottenham look to be the same. Let's get into it. And also to try, yeah, try with this new little setup. It's not, it probably won't be a major difference. Maybe slight little differences. Uh, party sitting deeper, the fullback sitting slightly deeper. But we will see though. Oh, strong tackle by Gabriel. Like he's our best defender as far as I'm concerned. Like he's incredible. Saliba with a chance to get to his level. Okay. Odegaard. He could execute this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where did that come from? Odegaard. He just took the guard. He is a talented player. Executed that to a T. That was clean. The strike probably more so than the skill. The skill was enough to beat Alderweireld, but the score like that Hugo, that was always away from him. Arm stretched. And there he is. Not a bad way to open your account for the season. All right. And I'm probably not going to do uh, better than that uh, in this video. So if that's not worthy of a thumbs up, I'm not sure what anything else would be. <laughs> Cheers. You're like, win the game first, mate. Win the game first. All right. Ah. Uh, see, this is where I'm good, guys. <laughs> the CPU wasn't having that quote. They weren't taking that. But, like, when they're a decent enough team and Tottenham just barely passes that, they're going to go attacking now. Like, this is when this is when we're good. Like, again, like, mate, settle down. There's a lot to go, but I'd like to think I'll prove that. Here we go. See... That's how I put your hand down, mate. You're not in school. The teacher's not asking you a question. And that didn't go to party. Like, guys, can we... Can we notice the difference? I mention it when I'm winning as well. Like, it's not a thing I just say when I'm losing. But can we notice how the CPU changes in style? Like... I feel like because we're winning the game now... I know we just lost possession. But, like... I feel more in control of it. Not just what the score says, but in the gameplay. Like I said, I'm someone who's played FIFA for years because I I can feel... But, like, I feel in control of them. And I can defend them here. Like, I'm not sure how much you gauge from the gameplay, how much you get that. 
from highlights, of course, that I edit. But here we are. Oh, oh, here, the selection of defenders changes a little, but again, no, Son. I'm going to take that all back. When it gets to that point, oh, my gosh. Like, there, I tackled, and then it didn't go to our advantage. So, yeah, I shouldn't have got ahead of myself. Why? Why do I talk sometimes? Now, n well, at least you can compare now. If things switch up, if things switch up, well, we're going to see. But for a second there, from probably after we scored to like the 30th minute, we were in contr in incredible control. Uh, don't get, let it get back on their side, mate. Please not. Yeah, okay, we're intercepting. So I think it's still on our side for a bit. Here we are. Yes. Aubameyang, you got to score it. Far out. Far out. But yeah, I still feel momentum on our side. It is. Don't, come on. We've got to get a goal back. Gabriel, no, he can't. Kamavinga. That, that's my move, guys. That's what I've got to rely on. But it works, mate. It works. And we got our lead back. So what I was saying is still a fact. It's this man. That I don't know who to focus on, mate. Like, Odegaard. That's... Arguably is better. I think the skill was more clean with Kamavinga. And he... He just, like, dinked that over on his left side. Like, he made it look easy. So, that's what I mean. The momentum, yeah, was still on our side there. Even though they scored. Even though they scored. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Let's stay focused as we can now. And yeah, right now it's looking like I've got one move. Guys, I gotta know. I gotta know. Kamavinga. I love just the look in his eyes as well. Like, it looks like he's real focused. It's probably not a feature, but... Block that side. Oh, initially. Now we're out of pos... Oh, no way. No way. We can't be in a drawing position in this game. That's so... Uh, we got to win this one. I got the ta two times. Two times. Both goals they scored, I made the tackle. See, if I can't win a game I played like that, we've done so well, man. Far out. Got to find another winner, I guess. I can't believe it. Both their goals... The play before the shot was me tackling and it going back to them. I won the ball literally twice. <laughs> like, that's why it's so weird. I'm feeling like I'm winning. Again, another interception. Fuck. Not when the CPU needs to win, right? Yeah. Kamavinga, go. Now suddenly he's slower. No, oh, where's, where's space? Oh my god, I passed it. Oh, oh, Odegaard. My eyes are open right now. Like, wide. Oh, like, it's at a point where it feels unfair. Like, it's not too hard, because I'm about to create a chance. It's, oh, go now. Now. Overlap. Fun it, pin it, put it, what? Oh, I thought he was coming up. I would have done a power. I was about to power it, but then he stopped. Oh, shit, man. I was going to power it initially, but then I noticed him running up. Oh, come on. Go now. Come on, F FIFA, mate. Ah, oh, damn. The last chance was it. Like... But I thought it would have got saved if I powered it. So I was going to finesse. I saw him coming up. So I'm overanalyzing what happened because I know what would have worked. We should have won this game. And I'm, oh, I'm absolutely trying my best, man. I'm trying my absolute best. They got two shots for two goals and it's far out. Hopefully you can appreciate the goals we got. Man. This is probably one of my best games I've played recently. And we still couldn't win. Oof. 
Oh, it takes a lot out of me, man. I wonder how he's going to develop. So I'm going to delegate for a loan. Wow. I know how much you would want me to win that. That's why I'm still recovering from it because it would have been so good. You guys would have loved that win. That should have been a win. <laughs> Ilyev, here we go. Getting some offers. Let's accept 63 overall. Or oh, we're getting a lot of offers, if we're honest. I think that will be a good spell for him. Could get some growth. Probably better than he's going to be here in terms of how many games he'll play. And see, guys, this is another thing with the morale when I said it's hard to improve with the mod, which is a challenge, so I want that. Budget. I could have gone more unrealistic and make an unrealistic signing. Well, a good signing, that would be unrealistic. There's money there. But again, part of the challenge. Then John Jules loaned out. That's good. See, guys, in terms of the, the career progression... Like, the building of the squad and the progression of the younger players. Like this is what... I was going to say for a second what I specialize in. But what I really enjoy about career mode... Sometimes the gameplay can annoy you. But I, I actually really like career mode so much. Like, the mode itself developing... I mean, that's why I make videos on it, right? The gameplay, you can... <laughs> you know, it's whatever. So, all right, guys. We're going to simulate some more games. So, like, this team gets results they deserve, basically... And like the last game, yes. So hopefully there's no injuries or anything. They got a sending off, which helps. But yeah, like I'm, I'm a little, yeah, I'm more like I'm frustrated, annoyed, you know, all the, all the words. Like this team deserves more wins. And how we played in the last game, yeah, we deserve that win. So it's just returning <laughs> Van Dyke injured. And there you go. This really is a realistic career mode. Oh, finally, we get a Torreira offer. Guys, I say that in a way how I was kind of way... I, I've been wanting to sell him, to be honest, uh, for his age and all that. Medley, I'm going to accept loan to buy. I'm not sure what the potential fee is, but yeah, he's not going to have a future. Ter is he? No. See? Instead of bringing in Torreira and rotating, I love to develop up Aziz. This is back to the development of a club and the players... That's not a bad offer. I'm going to accept it. Just so, don't need to worry about negotiating. Like, because we got money. Like, we got a lot of money. Like, as I said, we're trying to keep it realistic in that. So, at least, yeah, at least for me doing this, like, yeah, I just want to be doing an Arsenal career. You can see one on YouTube that's doing realistic <laughs> career mode signings. Martinelli's not going to go out on loan. And Torreira is gone now as well, which pretty happy with. That's a really good budget. So, guys, when January comes around, what, what what do you think is next? Because Torreira, like, he'd be, you know, I'm sure Camavinga or Party, but that's going to be their positions. Camavinga is going to be similar to overall, like, par, like, really good, uh, very high in the 80s. So, see at Camavinga is that, basically. That's a, you know, strong area. Smith Rowe comes to rotate with Odegaard. And then keep the more realism aspects where we've got Guendouzi and Aziz and they might rotate as our central midfielders. Like, admittedly, you might say, well, yeah, we've got Xhaka. Xhaka as well. So, yeah, we've got. that's why I was comfortable with selling him. I was happy with our rotation midfield. The, the first would be Xhaka. Like, if we want a good player, he's 83 overall. And what I want to say, him and Torreira, they're very similar players. All right, let's take a look. Transfer windows closed. Good. You scored monthly report. Burton, I feel like his potential needs to be a little bit better. It might still be mid-80s, which is okay. But, yeah, we, we're comparing to Marcus. He's a great talent. How far away until he comes? He's 66 overall. Not for, for not, not going to be far, surely. And we know what the next day is. Yeah, the monthly. Yeah, I'm going to get excited now. Could we potentially? Uh, okay, we'll see who we get. Before getting too excited. Any of these guys with good potential? Danny Navas. I think he's worthy to sign up. I think he's worthy to sign up. We'll see. Sign player. Uh, Velazquez. Uh, Christian Marin. What's going on with his hair? It's not going to matter because he's not even good enough. If he was, yeah, there might have been some discussions. Unfortunately, there's no one else. I just say, if you want to be a footballer, look like a footballer. Now it's Italy. Mate, this guy, no. Why is his age the numbers swapped around? Because he more looks like 71. Okay, let's go through the rest. So this guy again, he's not 16. Look at his face, man. 
it not bad. See his value. Ooh. I might leave for another month. See if that maximum potential goes up, though. See the rest of these guys. Orlando. I think he can be good. He's 14. I like that. Oh, 50 to 70. I want to compare to the other guy with decent. See, this guy's 16 and 38 to 56. His overall is 50 to 70. Wow. This guy could be good. Rosario Orlando. Yeah, we look for defensive minded, didn't we? Yeah. Rosario. Yeah, I like his look as well, man. Uh, like strong beer, like typical uh, look of a 14-year-old. Yeah, looks like a 14-year-old, doesn't he? So, yeah, we're going to sign him. <laughs> he could be very good. He'd be play beyond his age. And he's going to be quick by the looks of things. Or Yeah, he, I reckon this lad could be real good. Six foot two. All right. See, yeah, everyone else, apart from Conti, will leave, will reject the rest. Yeah, I think so. Palmieri, Palmieri, something like that. Yeah, he's close, but not good enough. So that means we're going to have one left now. So delete that. Monthly scouting up that. English. Jack Shields. Not good enough. Any of these others. Sebastian Poole. Interesting. And all right again, guys. Somehow Newcastle United's in fifth position. So you can tell some yeah weird things are happening. Another one we're going to simulate here. Hopefully finish off. Uh, finish off in some good style. Should beat them. If you see the difference of quality, Arsenal batch, but see, and just as long, yeah, no injuries or anything, good. Happy with that. As you can tell, like, my, I'm, <laughs> oh, gosh. And that triggers to the Champions League era, but, uh, era, yeah, Champions League. That's good. Watch out for that in the next episode. That's the first game in the Champions League in this career mode. So that's going to be interesting, but let's go over. So to the league. So we're really like that. I I played, I think I played a pretty good game against Tottenham. I was very happy. Attacking, we got our goals defensively still conceded, even though oh, we already mentioned it. I made tackles. <laughs> uh, I was happy with what we did defensively. So yeah, you're going to see a bit of simulations to, so we're up, more up the table where I think we deserve to be really. And it's still frustrating me. I'm not going to lie, but still going to make the videos. I'm enjoying the development of the squad. As I said, like that's the main thing for me. If FIFA is still going to be frustrating me uh, with the gameplay, um, yeah, I'm going to still be developing my team. I love building a squad, squad building. <laughs> that's come up as like a rebuilding. Uh, that's come up as a thing in the last few years. But I've always like done my careers in this way. I love to rebuild my team and um, develop up with younger players. It's always been a thing. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video nonetheless. Uh, once more, I think we had a fantastic game two amazing goals against Tottenham and that deserved three points so it's good we got the yeah three points in the next couple if you could leave your support I would appreciate likes on the video and get as many comments in as you can help the interaction uh, I really do appreciate that you know it's not the highest for me on YouTube uh, because of different reasons that's out of my control <laughs> you know I made a lot of videos uh, but yeah if you guys can help out where YouTube has been lacking I would greatly appreciate that. Just get some comments in the comment section. Leave a thumbs up. Um, dislike it if you want to say like in a different way, in a way of dis I like. <laughs> Did enough to watch the video. So appreciate all the interactions, whichever way it may be. And I'll see you guys next time.